Well, hello again, my fabulous friends, and welcome to yet another flesh and blood video. Today, welcome to the table or welcome to the poker room, whatever you want to call it. We will be doing quite a few little things. Uh, as mentioned in a previous video, we are doing some deck building from now on. We started with this Brute deck, a deck which contains 58 cards and is a simple deck, approximately maybe $20 worth. And what we want to do is switch out some cards, switch in some cards, and make it into a $100 deck, approximately. We're following the budgets here that our subscribers, our viewers may have. And this, as I told you before, is not just my deck, it's our community deck, yours and mine. It's the channel's deck. So we're going to try to make it better and better. That'll be in the second part of this video. And also in the second part, I will be telling you how you can win this third box of Flesh and Blood, Welcome, well not welcome to Wraith, Crucible of War, I should say. First edition, remember how I promised that I would be giving out three boxes if we reached the 1,000 subscriber mark by the end of last year? We did so. I've given out two so far, and this is the third and last box. You will find out how you can win it at uh, later on during this video. And by the way, if you want to win that box, you must be subscribed. So for those of you who are watching this for the first time or have not yet subscribed, just make sure you do so by clicking that little red box in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And from now on, you will not miss another episode. You will be part of our community and eligible to win all these gifts and contests and especially this Crucible of War box. Before I get that, as part of my, how do I say, my LGS, local game store, promotional series. This will be the second one. Remember I talked to you about Le Coin du Jeu last time. Well, this today I want to basically talk to you about two more local game stores, one of which is located in Canada and the other is located in the USA. I'm still waiting for some info information coming from uh, our friends from Europe or Asia Pacific. I'm going to also promote as many local game stores as I can. So for today, who's the one from Canada? Well, Ontario, just west of Toronto, or maybe an hour, in London, Ontario. So if you live in that vicinity, or even if you don't, I mean, they will take orders, obviously. You can get in contact with them for your products. And this is a local game store called Forest City Coins and Stamps. So they do have all kinds of collectibles, as you can see through their name, but also the other cards, the Pokemon and other products, Magic, I believe. I think they have everything. But anyway, uh, I spoke to uh, Andy over there. So Andrew, he's the one that uh, is my contact for, for them. And as you can see through these pictures that are going up on the screen here, you uh, they do have a website. You can see they're located on Richmond Street in, um, in London, Ontario. And also, um, they're opening hours, their hours of business operation, basically, website, phone number, everything you know, you need to know, I should say. So if you are from that area, you have an excellent choice with Forest City Games for all your needs in terms of flesh and blood, mainly, right? They have everything, but we're talking flesh and blood on this channel, mostly. All right. So hi to you, Andy. Andrew. He's Andrew, but using Andy. All right, so our second place is located in the USA, as I said, and it is in Connecticut. So um, this place is called Unison Games Cafe, and actually another place where you can actually uh, play games, find all the products you need. They have an online store. They have all the products, all the collectibles, once again, in terms of game cards. And uh, over there, you will uh, come across a David, uh, who has an associate, I believe, but I've been in contact with David. So uh, website, email address, all you need to know here on the screen. By the way, they also have a YouTube channel. So Unison Games is the name of the YouTube channel. And here you see a couple of pictures that go through on the screen here um, of the videos that they've posted on YouTube, uh, learning how to play the game Flesh and Blood, basically, and, uh, and a few other things. So there you have it for USA, uh, Connecticut. You do not have to be from that area. They ship all over the place, all over the U.S., obviously. But if you are in their vicinity, go have a look at their products and uh, just uh, go say hi and send this. Tell them that Mark sent you. All right. <laughs> all right. So uh, let me tell you now how you can win that third box of Crucible of War that I promised you. Okay. Now, you may have mentioned, remember that Graham Wells won the second box over here, Graham, and he has given us permission to open his box on camera for your viewing pleasure. So we will be doing that on the very next video. You'll be seeing this Saturday early afternoon in 
Eastern time. So you have adjust adjust in terms of your time zones, but uh, Saturday afternoon here in Eastern Canada. And we will be opening Graham's box, but we will also be opening at least one more, which will be a welcome to Wraith for sure, and maybe even an Arcane Rising. I, it's a double, maybe a triple box opening. Can you believe it? And this will serve to find who wins our next, my third and last box of Crucible of War. You will have to watch the entire video for this. I will make sure of that because basically I want that the third box, I want it to go to somebody who's uh, actually uh, following this uh, quite a bit, listening to our videos and uh, a very integral part of this channel. So how am I gonna do that? You will need, there will be an embedded code word. I will say the code word is, and I will say it quite often during the entire video, so you will have to find what that word is. It'll be very easy to find the word, but the most, the more difficult part will be to determine how many times I've said it throughout the entire video. So you'll need the word, how many times I've said it, and you will not be able to post it in the comment section. That would be way too easy to copy your friends. You will have, I will be giving you out a, uh, an email address. You're gonna have to email me with your answer, the word, how many times, and that's the only way you're gonna be able to be part of the contest. And obviously, more than one people, person, I should say, uh, many people will get the correct answer, but uh, not 300 or not even 200. Uh, there may be 50, I don't know. Uh, depends how many of you are patient enough to count how many times. I do need viewing hours, so that's why I'm doing this, by the way. I'm not quite at 4,000, 3,700, actually, to tell you the truth. So uh, we'll do it that, that way, and uh, you will be able to, uh, um, basically participate that way and once again as I've done before you all you people that get the correct answer will be my finalists and I will use another contest or another way I know which one but I'm keeping the surprise for now to bring those people down just to one winner right so you'll be the finalists and then if we still have a tie we do the playoffs you know how it works I've done it quite often so don't miss Saturday's video that will be your last well your chance to get that last box I should say do not miss that. You will have to be counting and watching it completely. I'm giving you the weekend. I'm a nice guy. I'm not doing this on a weekday. I'm doing it on a weekend for your, to make it easy for you. All right. So, um, so that's it for today's news. So basically, don't forget to be subscribed. You will need to be uh, to do that to be part of that contest. And uh, now let's go under the lamps and let's go do that upgrade of that brute deck. Let's do it. So here we are as part of our deck building series. We are having a look today at the Reinar deck, which we created the other day. A very basic deck of uh, maybe $20 worth. We're going to try to make it a little spicier today. So let's see. We have our hero, obviously. Romping Club is still our weapon. And we will have a look right away at the equipment cards. Now, Snapdragon Scalers, I will want to keep for now. Iron Rot Gauntlet, however, is a card that we're actually going to switch out of this deck. And we will replace it by Goliath Gauntlet. And let's see here what it entails. The action is you destroy it. The next action, attack action card with cost 2 or greater. You play this turn, gains plus 2 attack, and go again. So, much better in terms of the equipment. This is what we're going to keep down over here. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, bark Bone Strapping. We will actually keep this card also. It is our chest equipment. How about Iron Rot Helm? I vote we kick it out. All right. So kick it out is over here. But what will we replace it by? Well, I suggest Hope Merchant's Hood. It is an instant. When you destroy it, you shuffle any number of cards from your hand into your deck. Then you draw that many cards. All right. So this will be our replacement and it will be become our head equipment. Now, we'll do this in three parts. We'll have a look, first of all, at the uh, pitch one card. So let me just put the others down for now and just have a look at our cards and if we are keeping them or not. So these are just the one pitches, right? So breakneck battery, we will keep. So will we keep drone of brutality, our full set of pack hunt. Now, don't forget in the comment section, you're going to tell me uh, if you agree with these picks or not. So the savage swing and the savage feast, I guess they're all mixed up here. Um, I basically decided to take these out, all right? These are mainly cards that as an additional cost to play them, you discard a random card, and uh, they do have a great attack, but let's see here. We want to replace these. We want to make our deck a little better, so we're going to put these down over here and have a look at the rest. So, so far, we're keeping Breakneck Battery, Journal Brutality, the full set of Pack Hunt. Smash Instinct, we will keep for now. Uh, Wrecker Romp, also... 
Yes, full set. And Awakening Bellow, I was thinking to take one out here. The next Brood Attack action card you play this turn gains plus three. Has Intimidate and go again. But uh, we have to make room for other cards. So I would take one out here. So as you can see, we've taken out, I believe, seven red or pitch one. And this is what I suggest that we add. So let's put this down over here. And I would add, well, a full set of Barraging Beatdown. Why? We'll have a look at this. Your next Brood Attack this turn gains while this attack is defended by less than two non-equipment cards, it has plus four. So a very brutish card. <laughs> has Intimidate, has Go Again. So we're putting in a full set. So there you go. One, two, three Barraging Beatdowns. Okay, there are rare cards also. And then also a Primeval Bellow. Let's have a look at the actual card, what it says. As an additional cost to play it, you discard a random card. Your next Brute Attack gains plus five. And you have Go Again. So basically a full set of... Well, actually, no, two. Two of these... And uh, I kind of burned the punch here. What I'm doing also is to uh, kind of make this more spicy. I'm getting to uh, some other cards. Alpha Rampage. Boom here. We're adding a uh, card, a Majestic. Approximately $15. So there you have it. Rhinar Specialization. You can only play it if you're playing Rhinar. As additional cost to play it. Uh, you discard a random card. It has Intimidate. So this is uh, excellent to have in the deck. And now we're increasing. And look at this. Boom! Massacre! Yes, a card from Crucible that I'm adding to our deck. So if you have discarded a card with six or more attack this turn, Massacre gains plus two. If Massacre is discarded to pay the cost of a Brood Attack action card, it has Intimidate. So another. So here we go with two. Our first two Majestics in this set. They're both around $15 cards, I believe. So we are making our deck already a little spicier. So let's just add that to... This was our pack of cards we are keeping in the red so we're adding seven cards to the pitch one we add these to the cards we are keeping here as equipment cards so now we have our deck we're keeping here and these are all the discarded cards all right so we'll move on to the pitch two cards let's just uh take these uh out like this and have a look at them individually now what will we take out uh raging onslaught we will keep for now Savage Swing, in this case, we will keep... We took him out, by the way, in uh, in the pitch one. Smash Instinct, I think we should keep for now also. Not taking too many uh, cards out of the uh, of the yellow. Actually, Barraging Bronhide is one that we're actually going to take out. I believe, uh, yeah, all three. So let's put these down over here. And Sink Below... I'm tempted to take them all, but I've uh, selected only five cards to add, so I'm just going to make sure I just take out five. So I'm going to take two two sink belows out, and I'm just going to keep one, but this uh, will probably mo be modified in a future uh, upgrade of this deck. So these would be the ones that we would keep. Now let's have a look at what I suggest we add to those uh, to those uh, pitch two. So Wrecker Romp, I would actually add a full set. So let's have a look here. As additional cost to play it, you discard a random card and it has attack seven and three defense. So a typical brute card. So a full set of Wrecker Romp here. And uh, you may have uh, seen, let's have a look here. We had, uh, I believe we had two barraging beatdowns, didn't we? Did we? Yeah, barraging beatdowns. So we only have two, so we have room for one more. So we will add it. So three Wrecker Romps. And uh, Barraging Beatdown and Primeval Bellow, again, um, we'll just add one of these. So adding a total of five cards, just like we've taken out. And this one also has, uh, you discard a random card when you play it. And your next Brute Attack gains plus four. Go again. So this would be our additions in terms of the uh, Pitch 2 cards. So let's put all this in our... Oh, 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 oh. My red card here got uh, my Massacre. We'll put it back in the right spot, right over here. Having problems focusing here. All right, so let's put this down. Now, pitch three. Pitch three, this is the rest of our deck. What do we do with pitch three? Well, we'll keep uh, the flock for, for now. I think the only two cards I would take out are probably right here, Scour the Battlescape. So let's eliminate these two. So I believe that is 17 cards in all that we've taken out. We're keeping our barrage or beat downs here. Primeval Bellows, Time Snap Potion, Sigil. Sigil of Solace could be replaced by a Pitch 1. You would have a Gain 3 life. That is uh, uh, something we can discuss. Um, so basically, I took out two, but I will add just one card, and it is 
the energy potion instant destroy the energy potion and you gain two uh resources so um yeah so we're gonna add this as you know i do like the potions we already have the time snap over here so let's add the energy to it and basically there you have it now these are pitch twos pitch ones and equipment so this becomes our new deck how about you uh, how about we have a last look at it so that you guys can remember what's in it three pack pack hunts full set smash instinct the wrecker romps basically awakening bellow we took one out we have a full set of barraging beatdown in every color primeval bellows also we've added those two uh, really good uh, majestic so alpha rampage massacre from the crucible of war set uh here you go now with the wrecker romp in uh pitch two the primeval bellow we do uh, have kept we have kept the raging onslaught savage swing in this case smash instinct also the wounded bull i don't know sink just one i mean we will be continue to to tweak this uh, i think there are uh, maybe a little too many cards in this deck anyway so it doesn't matter if we take out more than we put back in next time so we'll have a look at that so i'm keeping the flock the wrecker romps here obviously awakening bellows the barraging beat downs we have a full set each color basically each uh yeah, Primeval Bellow also, and we have a total of three potions, the Sigil and the Quicken that you basically need in this uh, Brute deck. So there you have it. Give me your comments. What do you think of our new deck? Um, let's keep uh, up uh, grading, updating the deck list of this community deck of ours. We will continue working at it in a an upcoming video. We'll put this all back together, and there you have it. We just need the deck list. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, listening. Thumbs up if you've liked it. Uh, I'm waiting for your suggestions. Until our next video, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.